Normally, I open up my videos behind a workbench in my shop, but today, I'm in my car. You see, a couple of months ago, I was watching Shark Tank, and they did this follow-up on a product someone invented called the Drop Stop. It's a multi-million dollar idea for a simple product that plugs the gap between your car seat and the console. So yesterday in this gap, I was cleaning out my car, and I found a key, my checkbook, uh, a lollipop, a card, crumbs, french fries, basically everything you would need to survive a zombie apocalypse. So I need to plug this gap, but instead of buying a drop stop, I figured I can come up with my own solution, something from inside my shop. Let's go take a look. So I found two different types of water pipe insulation. One of them is a poly foam. This is a lot stiffer, rigid. I, I don't think this is the best choice. The second one is made of rubber. It's a lot more pliable. I think it'll fit in the slot a lot better. And I also need to cut a slot in it for the seat belt. So I think this is going to be perfect. Let's give it a try. So we're going to get rid of the poly foam. Instead we're going to use the rubber. So I measured the console and it's 18 inches long. So I'm going to make this slightly longer. I'm going to cut two pieces 19 inches long. One for the left side and one for the right side. I'm using the center section of the rubber tube because there's some printed numbers at the ends I'm trying to avoid. With the two pieces now cut to length, I mark the seatbelt location where I want to cut it. I want mine about 5 inches from the back end and about 5 eighths of an inch from one edge. Now, pay close attention to this next part. I'm going to cut an oval slightly smaller than the seatbelt because the rubber is going to stretch over the seatbelt head. Do not cut a square or rectangle. After a little experimentation, I noticed that when I cut a rectangle, the rubber tore easily at the corners. I also found an X-Acto knife was much better to cut an oval than scissors. You can peel off the tape and reuse it for the second piece. Slowly slide the foam rubber over the seatbelt head and push it all the way down. Tuck it into the groove. Repeat for the passenger side. I think that'll work out just fine. It may not be a drop stop, but hey. It's free! There you have it. Thanks for watching, Alley Picked. Please subscribe and give the video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Now watch it.